Oh, I'm going to need a drink for this one. Let's get into this. Oh. Yasmin slams out the democracy. Now, guys, this is from Australia. Um, it's an Australian review. Yasmin slams out democracy. Now, the reason why I'm covering this is because I actually did a story on this brain dead bimbo, and I'm actually holding back when I say that. Literally about a month ago. Um, oh, that, oh, that was strong. Probably actually a little bit after a month ago, um, she actually came out and made some statements in regards to the Anzacs. Well, the brain dead bimbo has come out and opened her mouth yet again. Um, Australia, just deport this girl, will you? Muslim activist Yasmin, and it has nothing to do with her being a Muslim. It's not why I'm calling her brain dead. I'm calling her brain dead because she just has a habit of shooting off at the mouth. Muslim activist Yasmin Ahmed Madi whatever, has declared Australia's system of parliamentary democracy does not represent anyone, and delivered a lecture on our inability to acknowledge that we live on stolen land. Really? Writer and mechanical engineer, whose ABC show was dumped last month, <laughs> appeared on a panel at Australian National University Leadership Forum in Canberra on Wednesday night. Mrs. Al Abadou took a whatever took a swipe at the media for taking the easy option and painting her as a other who poses a threat. Yeah, they did take the easy option. You're an idiot. She also had a heady exchange with the ANU Chancellor and former Labor Foreign Minister Gareth Evans over the future of parliamentary democracy. If you just pay the get-up and game and social media, you don't do the serious parliamentary game as well. If you, do, if you don't do that as well, you're missing a very important vehicle for actually getting decent policy, Professor Evans said. Mrs. Almadel's uh, change was inevitable, charged into the system, I looked at the first uh, Okay, so, uh, I mean, look at the photo of House of Representatives. She said it does not represent anyone. I don't have a drinking problem, it's just when I'm talking about this bimbo. Oh. When Evans challenged her to run for office, Miss Abdul replied sarcastically, You know how to get to office? I have to go through pre-selection, yeah, obviously, which works really well, and I have to go through all these other systems, which for women and people of colour are actually biased. Right, I'm sorry, you're repressed. That's right. Opening her talk and the knowledge that the women people, we don't know how to have a conversation about the fact that we're on contested land, on stolen land, she said. Okay. Um, from my understanding, guys, this is actually a woman that wants to bring Sharia law into Australia. Um, so, yes, she is right. In her eyes, democracy is a failed system. She would much rather Sharia law. Uh, Miss Abdul was slammed by politicians, commentators, when she marked Anzac Day by posting on her page, lest we forget, uh, Mandis, Noro, Syria, Palestine. She has also uh, generated outrage in February when she claimed Islam was the most feminist religion. Oh, don't forget that nugget. That was a great one too. During the appearance on the ABC's question and answer program. Um, guys, look, obviously, I know the comments are probably going to blow up about this, but let's do it anyway. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And apart from that, guys, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If this video has not been helpful, then take up drinking. Have a great day and enjoy.